Welcome to February's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is convert PST to a greater tree. Given the root of a binary search tree, convert it to a greater tree such that every key of the original BST is changed to the original key plus the sum of all keys greater than the original key. As a reminder, a binary search tree satisfies these constraints. The left subtree contains only nodes with keys less than the nodes key, the right greater and both the left and right subtrees must also be binary search trees. All right, so if we just look at our example here, very quickly we can kind of see that we're going to do a in-order traversal, but in reverse. We'll do a reverse in-order traversal. And really all we're, do, all, all, we're, all we're doing is accumulating the sum as we move leftwards. So if we just traverse our binary search tree in reverse order, and carry over like the sum that sums that we have brought in summed up so far we could just update the node value as we traverse and that would be it we don't need to actually regenerate this tree into, uh, by creating new tree nodes so the best way i think to do that would just be a depth depth first search what i'll do is write a function here with depth first search and this is going to be reverse in order so all i need to do is pass in the node now the easiest way to do this is to use a self variable. I'm going to call it carry and I'll first I'll initialize it to zero. So the very typical thing would be just say if not node will return and what we'll do is first traverse to the right. So DFS node.right and once we're out of here we will carry take our carryover and add whatever the node value is right now. So we just add that node value and then we can just update it to the self.carry right here. And finally, traverse to the left. And we just need to run it with the root and then just return the root right after. So this would be the easiest way. Um, creating like this self variable will make it easy for us to keep track of what we've summed up so far. Let's make sure this works. And that looks like it's working, so let's submit it. And there we go, accepted. So some of you might think, well, this is kind of cheating. I don't like using these self variables. And fair enough. If you don't want to use it, you could still do this, but you would have to pass in this variable as one of the parameters. And we're actually going to need to like store the results somewhere. So what I'd have to do is uh, first pass in through all these carries right here. Oops. Say carry, carry. But what I'll have to do then is um, make carry e equal to whatever gets returned here. Then I will add to the carry the current node value, set the node value to the carry. And then since this has been updated with whatever has been summed up, we can just pass that on. And we actually need to um, make sure that we store it and then return the carry here as well. So to do that, we just need to pass in the root with zero. And this would be pretty much the exact same thing. Um, it's just a little bit dirtier because I need to be storing the carry variable. Okay, it didn't work. Let's see, not return zero, obviously return the carry. Let's try that again. Yeah, so there we go. Um, I made a mistake there. We don't want to return zero. We want to return what we've carried over so far so that we don't lose it. Otherwise, We'll be resetting it if I return to zero. So let's go ahead and submit this. And there we go. Time complexity O of n and it's constant space because all we have is this carry variable. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.